So, fishing sunk lines, I'm now going to tie some flies for fishing deep. So I'm going to look at a couple of boobies, a couple of cormorants, things that you might fish on sunk lines when the weather gets a little bit warmer. So let's get into it. So, first one we're going to look at tying is a sparkler booby. So, to start with, the hook I've got in the vise is a Fario uh, Barbless. This is B175 equivalent. It's the 301BL. This is the bronze version in a size 10. Slight variation I'm going to do for the sparkler booby is I'm going to use the Semplefly 80 Classic Thread in this one is Fluoro Red. Just gives a little hot spot. Um, this is going to be a sparkle booby underneath the booby eyes. So, to start with, let's just run on a base of thread. We'll go all the way down to sort of where the barb should be. So, the sparkle material. So, this is a gold and silver mix. It's got some supporting fibres in it. Um, would also be great at Christmas. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Give myself a nice sort of pinch and tie that in here. Just trim off some of these fibres. Just wet it so it holds together nicely. Just take it back a little bit. So Pinch and loop, and then just run, keeping the body nice and even, all the way up. And then, all the way back. Help me if I tighten the hook up as well. There we go. So, now, I'm going to make this sort of comp legal, so I'll just give it a bit of a trim about there. So a nice tail. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few of these fibres I've just cut off. I'm going to wind these round for the body. So just again, just loop, run it back up to there, and then just wind these fibres round. For the body. Just cross the thread over, a couple of nice turns, just hold it in there. You can do variations of the body of this, just trim that fibre there. You can um, use the dub, dub body, gold light bright, UV light bright, you know there's various different ones you could do. So for the wing, just going to use the same sparkle material, just another little section here. Again, I always like to wet the fibres just to help them sort of clip, cling, cling together. So, pinch and loop, and then we want some nice tight thread wraps on this because it's a very slippy material. Go back up. And then we'll just trim the sparkle wing just a little bit longer than tail because it will stick up. So when it gets wet, it'll I'll go in. I'll just tidy that up. Now um, the booby eyes. So I'm going to use white. As you can see here, I've got a whole variety of booby eyes in different sizes, all cut. And then what I've done is I've shaped them on a Dremel just to make them a little bit more uh, like a little pill. I'll show you. I'll get one out. So this is a white and a five mil. I'll put it on my dubbing needle so you can see a little bit. And this is what it looks like. It's just a sort of white pill shape that's been done on a Dremel. So it gives it that sort of pill type shape. So what I'm going to do, get the thread. So hold the booby eyes on the top. One loop, one wrap over. I like to leave the one that's going to be on the left at the furthest away slightly bigger. So what I do is I then without trying to turn on it, turn them so they're 90 degrees on the hook shank, go over the top and then I'll catch down a little bit of that furthest one away, just so I've got something to tie it down with and then all we do from there 
is a figure of eight over the top of the booby eyes going each way like that just to tie them down so there we go they're nice and tied in so we'll just go in front of the booby eyes now pull myself off a length of uh, thread so I'm just going to grab myself with my whip finish tool so here's just standard Benyard one so pull it off make that triangle and then all we're going to do is pull the booby eyes back a little bit and just go round in front of the booby eyes slip that off slide it down and then that's the fly whip finish so what I'll do now is just to secure it um, I'll just turn it so you can see there's the hot spot so it just gives the fish a little trigger to go for just under there so what I'll do is just turn it over and all I'm going to do is put a little dab of super glue if I can get it open oh maybe not maybe no super glue we'll use varnish on the booby eyes underneath just to help one secure them and also just help them stay in place a little bit so dab of the dabs of varnish help those eyes stay in place now obviously I'm going to varnish that eye so what you can use just in here this is just the tip of a feather just pull away some of the some of the feathers at the bottom pass that through and then that will clean the eye out so you're not having to poke it out when you go fishing but that's really simple and easy sparkly booby for fishing on the sunk lines when the weather gets a little bit hotter because normally what happens is the fish will drop deeper they won't really feed so you're looking something to trigger that aggressive response so that's the sparkler booby